Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we are looking at my project pan update. So I think this is update number three, um, and it's also the quarterly refresh. Now, if you don't know what a project pan is, I highly recommend that you check out my previous videos. So I'll leave those linked above and down in the description box for you to check those out. Um, but basically, it's where people try to use up the beauty products that they already have. So in my case, I'm just trying to use up makeup. I'm not including any skincare or hair care or anything like that at the moment. Um, but essentially, it's it's just where people try to use up what they've got. They're either trying to use it because it's old and they want to just not waste it, or it's because they've got a lot of stuff and they just want to try and use some of the things that they've got to show it a bit of love, find out whether they like it, whether they don't like it, and then they can make a decision about whether or not to declutter it. And that's more or less why I'm doing it. So with all of that out of the way, let's just dive straight into my update. Starting with primer, um, we've got the NYX Angel Veil Primer. And I'm so annoyed. This is so, so close to being finished. It's, I, I can see when I hold it up to the light, I can see it's like right down here. There's only a few more uses left in this. I'm sure of that. I've been sure that this is going to be finished for the last two months. So I'm not going to swear by it. But it, there, there cannot be much left. There just can't be. White wise, um, last month we were at 26 grams. This month we were at 24 grams. So again, another two grams off. Seems to be consistent. That's what I've lost since I've started this project. So that tells me I can use two grams of primer every month. And that's not even with me using it every single day or even every other day. And obviously throughout March, my makeup use has been a bit sporadic anyway because I wasn't going to work for about half of it. So um, I just need to try and put makeup on whilst I'm not at work this next month and um, try and get this finished. Um, so once that is finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate in another primer. The Hourglass Mineral, I think this is Mineral Veil? No, yeah. It's the Veil Mineral Primer. So it's kind of similar to the NYX. It's got a slightly different texture. A lot of people will say that this is a dupe for this. I think it's close, but the texture when you apply it doesn't feel quite the same to me at all. So I actually think I prefer this. But I've had this in my collection for probably about a year now. So it needs using. And this is currently weighing in at 37 grams. So next we've got foundations, um, so I originally had two in my project, I had the Hourglass um, Vanish Seamless Stick Foundation or some variation of those words and um, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is like right down here now um if i leave it standing up right it sort of settles a bit and i can see that it's right down there so that is really really nearly finished now so again i'm not rotating this out just yet i'm going to keep it in i'm going to finish it up hopefully this month so weight wise this was 106.5 grams last month and it's now weighing in at 99.5 grams so I used quite a bit last month, um, I used more in the last month than I have done in the previous two months, so that was really good, not quite sure how that happened, but yeah, quite pleased with that progress, quite happy to keep that in, um, as I said, it's nearly finished, so that's great, and then the Hourglass um, Foundation, I give up, I actually give up because I just, I don't use it. And if I do, I just don't like the effect. I just, 
whenever I use it, it just doesn't sit right on my skin. I just don't like it. I've tried using it as a concealer, don't like it. I've tried using it as a foundation. It's too light for me anyway, which doesn't help. But it also is quite cakey. So I just don't like it. So I am giving up on this. I am taking this out of the project completely. My goal with this was to try and just get some use out of it and see whether I like it. I've now decided that I don't, so out it comes. And the finishing weight on this is 48.5 grams, which is exactly what it was when it started. So I have used it a couple of times. I just don't want to use it basically. So it's gotta come out and I will probably declutter this at some point. So that's that. And then I will be rotating in Instead of a foundation, I'm going to put in a BB cream. So this is the Nivea Essentials BB cream. Um, I had this off of Amazon a little while ago and when it came, it was in German packaging. It's the product that I wanted, so it's fine. I don't use this an awful lot and I think that's because I've been trying to use foundations. So we're sort of into spring now. The weather's actually been really lovely this last week. Um, so I don't really want to wear full on face of makeup. I don't want to be wearing thick and heavy foundation. So I thought if I put in a BB cream, it'll encourage me to use it and it just won't feel quite as heavy on the skin as a normal foundation. So this is going in and the starting weight for this is 61 grams. Next we're on to concealer and the concealer in my project is this Pony Effect Concealer. It's the Pro Fit Liquid Concealer. Um, I've said countless times throughout this project, I like this as a spot concealer. I don't like it for under my eyes, which is mainly what I like to use concealer for. So I've kind of struggled to use this. Now someone did comment on my last video actually suggesting that I use this as a, a foundation. I did try, I had a feeling it wouldn't work but I did try, um, it was just too cakey because it is so full coverage it's, it's just too cakey to use as a foundation for my preferences anyway. So that wasn't great. Um, I did also try the other suggestion from the same person of mixing it in with my moisturiser. And I liked that better, but I still wasn't thrilled with the results. So I'm still struggling with it. But if I'm now going to be using BB cream instead of foundation, when the foundation is finished, then I might be able to use this a bit more quickly. So that's my plan. Fingers crossed it works. And the weight update on this is last month it was at 23.5 grams and this month it's at 22.5 grams. So I did manage to use a whole gram, which is better progress than I've made throughout the whole of this project. I think I've only ever lost like half a gram. So trying to use it in different ways has definitely helped, um, but I'm hoping I can get some more use out of it this next month. So I am keeping this in. I don't really have another concealer that I want to try and use up at the moment. So keeping this in, um, but hopefully I can do better next month. So next we've got my Huda Beauty baking powder. Um, this one is in the shade Pound Cake. I didn't make a lot of progress on this. According to the weight, it's not moved at all, but I know I did sort of use a chunk of it. I used quite a chunk of it when I um, did the video where I let my son do my makeup. He, he went in there. So I'm not quite sure how that hasn't moved, but it hasn't. So... I still like the powder, it's still the one in my collection that's got the shortest period after opening date so there's no reason for me to rotate this out of the project at the moment so it's going to stay in. Last month it weighed 101 grams, this month it still weighs 101 grams. 
Next we've got um, the fixing spray. So this one is the cooling fixing spray from Revolution. Um, I did make some progress on this. I sort of, you can see on the mark here. So last month it was where this black line is and this month we're down to this pink line. So you can see it's been sort of fairly consistent throughout the month since I started. But I, the reality is I just don't enjoy this product at all. And I said last month that I'd see how I felt about it this month um, and see, whether, see if I took it out of the project. And that's what I'm gonna do. I just don't like using it I do feel like I'm forcing myself to use it and it it can make my skin feel quite tight as well which I don't enjoy so this one's coming out and I'm going to rotate in the MAC fix plus prep and prime and this one is in the scent coconut so I bought this quite a while ago now barely used it you can see the mark is right at the top yeah, so I did try a lighter um, nail varnish to mark it with but I didn't think it was going to show on camera turns out it does but it's this darker pink mark you're looking at here so I'm not a massive fan of the sprayer on this it can it's normally okay but it can sort of just have a bit of a moment um, so not thrilled with that I'm gonna have to see how I get on with it but I've used it a couple of times quite enjoyed it the couple of times that I have used it so I'm gonna try it a bit more regularly just to see how I really feel about it and I'll update you next month right so bronzer I feel like this is never-ending so that is where we're up to in terms of actual pan size oh, I'm just not convinced that this has grown at all this month and looking at the weight the weight hasn't shifted either I don't hate the product I'm just starting to get a bit sick of it now so I'm I'm keeping it in just because there's just there's just so much pan there's just so much pan and I just I want to see this finished blusher we've got the Havana and again I don't think I've made a lot of progress pan wise um, I still think this is a really versatile blusher so again I'm not taking this out just yet and also again no weight change so last month we were at 41.5 grams, we're still at 41.5 grams. Bit annoying but again like I said earlier I've not really used a lot of makeup over the last few weeks. Not going to work, not leaving the house, not really wanting to be bothered to do much. Kind of does that to you so not surprised but I'm just really frustrated that two products that I do use every time I use my makeup just don't seem to be going anywhere so moving on then so now we've got the milk makeup highlighter I've actually had weight movement I'm quite shocked so last month and from the beginning of the project this was weighing in at 16 grams and it's now weighing in at 15.5 grams so i feel like i feel like i've been trying to use this and not really getting anywhere with it so i'm really happy that there's been some movement on it now it's only a three gram product anyway so i figured it would take a while but i figured in three months there might have been something and there finally has been so i'm still keeping this in i'm i I'm finding that I quite enjoy the subtle glow that it gives. Um, I'm not actually wearing it today, I'm wearing something else today. But I really do enjoy the subtle glow that it gives. Um, if I want something that looks a bit more natural but dewy looking, this is perfect for me. So, keeping that in. So next we're on to eye primer. And the eye primer in my project 
has been the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this one is in Sin. I just, the more I use this, the more I don't want to use this. I just find that it plays havoc with any kind of look that I'm trying to do because it just makes everything a bit shimmery. It darkens everything because it is sort of darker than my eyelid. So I've been struggling with this and I did get some weight movement on it. So I got another 0.5 grams. So it was 17.5 grams last month. It's now 17 grams this month. I'm taking this out. It's getting to the time of year now where I want to start wearing lighter coloured eyeshadows. Um, you'll see what I'm doing with my eyeshadow palettes in a moment. Bit of a spoiler alert there. But um, I'm taking this out because it's just not going to work well anymore. And I'm putting in the one I originally wanted to put in in the first place but couldn't find when I started this project. And it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. But this one is in Eden. So... Just to show you the difference, in case you weren't already aware, I'm pretty sure you will be. So, so Sin is this shimmery thing here, and you can see it's quite dark. Um, I just don't enjoy shimmery eye primers anyway, so that doesn't help. Eden is this one here, and you can see it's more of a sort of concealer type colour, and. I much prefer this kind of eye primer to this one. So, happy to be losing that one. Happy that I'm going to be putting this one back in. Now, this is old, but that's the only reason that I'm putting it in this project is because it needs using. Starting weight for this one then is 15 grams. Now we're on to eyeshadow palettes. So the one that I've had in my project since the start has been the Vizier Liaison Palette. So this is the purple toned one. And I put this in because I wanted to try and get some use out of it. had no intention of panning anything. I had no intention of hitting pan on anything. Um, I just wanted to get some more use out of it because I bought it, used it a couple of times, put it to the back of the drawer, pretty much forgot about it. So I wanted to show it a bit of love and I do feel like I've done it. I don't know if you can say, but I've actually got dips in some of the shades now. So I've actually really enjoyed this. I had a bit of a rough start with it in the first month because I was just trying to use this on its own and I was getting bored. Um, but once I started using it with other palettes and with the single eyeshadow that I've got in my project, I found it was a lot more versatile than I originally thought. So I am taking this out, but that's only because I want to start injecting some colour now that we're hitting spring. But now that I've played with this a bit more, I know what works for me, what doesn't, which shades I like, which ones are my go-to shades. Um... I'll probably keep popping back into this one throughout the year to sort of pair up with anything else that I'm using if I'm missing something. So I'm quite content with the progress I've made with this one. Um, I've done what I intended to do. So I'm really happy with that. And the finishing weight for this is 119 grams. So... It started off at 119.5 grams. By last month, it was down to 119 grams. It's still 119 grams. Not a massive shock. It's eyeshadow. I wasn't expecting to make massive progress in terms of weight with those anyway. So it is what it is, but I'm happy anyway. And I'm rotating in something that is new to my collection, but not new um and it's this riviera palette by anastasia beverly hills um so i bought this last month so if you saw my beauty purchases video you'll have seen how come i ended up with this but this is what she looks like on the inside it's quite pretty and when i was looking for something that i could 
swap in. Um, this kind of said spring to me. Sort of th things like this and this and these shades here. I thought they were all shades that I could get some pretty spring-like looks. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, I've had a little bit of a play with it, not too much. Um, but I've quite liked what I've managed to do so far. The only thing I think I might have a problem with is that all of these top shades, they're quite warm toned, but then the shimmer shades are quite cool toned. So if you're pairing a matte with a shimmer, no matter what you do, you're going to end up with a cool toned look, which isn't something that I kind of want to do all the time um, but there is this one that I think I might be able to break it up with quite easily um, and I need to not fall into the trap of thinking that I can only use one palette just because this is what I've put in my project so I just, I just need to remind myself that this isn't the be all and end all of all eyeshadows throughout the next three months so that is going in and the starting weight for this is 194 grams. Next we've got the single eyeshadow and the one I chose for my project was this from Illamasqua and it's the, I always mess up the name on this, the Iconic Chrome Pigment Paint. Um, this one is in the shade Passionate so let me just open it so you can see so it's this gorgeous shimmery red beautifulness um i think i used this once last month so i love it i just don't use it an awful lot um i'm still doing with it what i plan to do with it and that was just use it at all so that's great but weight wise there's no yeah, weight wise there's no movement at all. It was 44 grams last month, it's still weighing in at 44 grams this month. Next we're on to eyeliners and we'll start with the liquid eyeliner. And the one in my project is this Black Magic eyeliner from Ico. Um, no movement. It was 6 grams last month, it's 6 grams this month. I'm keeping it in. I did use it a couple of times throughout March, but not a lot. I don't think I am ever going to get the hang of liquid eyeliner, but I don't practice enough, so it's kind of... Mm. Um, so it's staying in anyway. I've got no reason to take it out. I would just be taking it out to leave it sitting in a drawer not being used at all. So if I keep it in, it's going to get at least some use before it dries out so that's that one next we've got the bourgeois colon contour and this is the pencil obviously um so just black eyeliner pencil i've been getting some use out of this you'll see from the picture that i've managed to get some use out of it and every time i've done those pictures i've always looked at them and gone oh that's not really a lot of use is it but then if you look at where it started and where it is now that's three months use and for me considering i don't really wear eyeliner i'm quite happy that that's gone down that much quite pleased with that it might not look like a lot to most people but for me that progress is really really good so happy with that and keeping it in so next we're on to mascaras and if you've already watched my empties video you're gonna know what's coming so i've got the hourglass caution extreme lash mascara and the nars climax mascara within about a week of me doing my last update both of these dried up. The Hourglass one went first and I think the NARS one went about a few days, a week later maybe. So they dried up, they got to the point where I was just finding it hard to apply it So and a bit flaky and chunky as well. So I'm taking those out. So finishing whites for these then, we've got the 
Hourglass finished at 20.5 grams. Last month it was 21 grams. Um, and the NARS was 8.5 grams. Last month was still like 8.5 grams by the time it's finished. So that's those. And I'm rotating in a sample. So I've got a few sort of samples and mini sizes of mascaras that I've accumulated last year. So I thought I'd start with this one. Chanel, um, what is it? Le Volume de Chanel. So it's a volumizing mascara. It's in black. The, the period after opening on this says a month. Most normally have about three months, but this says a month, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but that's that. And the starting weight for that is five grams. So next we're on to brow products, and we'll start with the Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil from Benefit. So this is really starting to annoy me. So it's 6.5 grams when I started. It's still 6.5 grams now. You'll see from the picture, there's just no movement at all. And it's, that's literally all that's left. Like, there's just nothing left. Why is it taking so long for me to use? Oh wait, I hate doing brows. So if I'm not leaving the house and I'm just doing normal sort of no makeup makeup or no makeup, I just don't use it. I need to try and use it more because I feel like it's starting to get harder to apply. So I think it's getting to its end of life. So I want to try and get some more use out of that before it's actually finished. And the other product that I've got in my project is this Innisfree Skinny Brow Mascara. It still looks like there's loads in here. Like if you hold it to the light, you can see product around the edges, but I don't know how realistic that is or whether it's just stuck to the side. Um, Weight-wise, no movement again. So it was 12.5 grams last month. It's 12.5 grams this month. I'm keeping it in. And next we're on to lip products. So lip liner. This is the Illamasqua colouring pencil. And this one is in the shade Raw. Again, you'll see from the picture, I've made some okay progress. Again, I don't use lip liner all the time. So the fact that I've made that much progress between the start of the project, project and now, I'm quite happy with that. So happy with that and I am going to keep this in. I quite enjoy using it with the lip gloss that I've got in my project. So there's no reason for me to take it out just yet. Um, and while we're on the subject of lip gloss, we've got my I Heart Revolution lip gloss and this one is in Praline, I think it was. Yep, Praline, Praline, however you want to say it. Um, I'm keeping this in. I still enjoy using it. Um, I don't think I've had a lot of progress on it this last month. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So last month it was at 21 grams. This month it's at 20.5 grams. So I did get some weight movement on it. Um, but I feel like I use this quite a lot. So even on days where I didn't bother with makeup, I at least thought, at least put some lip gloss on. You might not be doing anything, you might only be sitting around in your pyjamas for a couple of days in a row, but at least put some lip gloss on and make yourself feel human. And yet, I just it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Um, so this is another one that's kind of frustrated me a bit this month. It is what it is. Um, and I'm keeping it in because lip product wise with the Riviera palette with it being quite a cool toned palette I'm gonna want cool toned lips so this is sort of it's not cool cool but it's on the cooler side so let me just show you so that is what 
that looks like. So when I was looking at my bullet lipsticks and my liquid lipsticks, the two that I, those two products that I got in this project were quite warm toned products. So I thought if I keep the lip gloss in, then I can use that in I can still use that on days where I don't want to wear any lipstick at all I just want to wear a lip gloss and this will work quite well with whatever look I've gone for in the Riviera palette I could warm it up if I want to with the lip pencil because it the lip pencil is obviously a touch on the warmer side so I can, I can warm the, the gloss up if I want to but generally speaking I just think this is going to go quite well with the eyeshadow palette that I've picked and in terms of lipsticks, so bullet lipsticks, I had this um, L'Oreal, is that that's upside down? So it's the L'Oreal Colourish Matte in the shade Erotique. So as I was saying, this is sort of quite a warm, quite a warm shade. Um, I just think I'm going to struggle to use this now that I've swapped in the eyeshadow palette so I did use this several times actually throughout this last month I've quite enjoyed it so I am going to hang on to it but I am taking it out of the project so at the start of the project this was weighing in at 23.5 grams it's still weighing in at 23.5 grams you'll see from the picture that there's not much movement um, but I've decided I don't mind this as much as I thought I would the smell doesn't bother me as much as it did initially so that's great um, but I just don't think it's going to suit the project with the um, products that I'm bringing in so that's coming out and I'm bringing in this one so it's the Bourjois Rouge Edition now Rouge Velvet the lipstick um, this one is in the shade excuse my pronunciation Place des Roses or Place des Roses so it's just there um my french is terrible so this is sort of a cooler toned pink um let's just pop it on here so it's this one here and it's what i'm wearing today um so when I bought this I used it a few times I really enjoyed it and then I shoved it to the back of the drawer and forgot about it so when I was looking for products for the refresh I sort of dug this out and went hmm you might work quite well so I'm bringing this in and the current weight on this is ironically enough 23.5 grams the exact same weight as the L'Oreal lipstick next we've got the liquid lipstick and this one is from Mellow and it's the matte liquid lip paint this one is in the shade Terran by the way last month I introduced this because I didn't like the product that I'd already got in so I took it out early and rotated this in early um, and this started at 22 grams it's still 22 grams I think I've used it once so not shocked that that hasn't moved it's sort of it's kind of warmer toned but i feel like i might be able to get away with it um so i'm gonna leave it in and see how it goes if it's not working then next month i'll just swap it out next we've got lip balm I, I, i'm taking this out I'm actually going to declutter this because I just don't really enjoy it. I don't really use it an awful lot and then when I do it just feels quite heavy and cloying and sticky on the lips. That's not what I want a lip oil to be. So if I wanted a lip gloss I'd just put on a lip gloss 
this is supposed to be a lip oil it's meant to be hydrating and it just feels like it's weighing everything down so i don't enjoy it i don't really use it so that is coming out and weight wise no movement so it was 18.5 grams last month it's still 18.5 grams this month so say goodbye and then we also had the barley balm now for some reason i totally forgot to log a weight for this when i introduced this last month I, I don't know why but i've got no idea how much progress i've made but this month this is weighing in at 15.5 grams i've used this every single day you don't need a lot of it but i've used it every single day um being in the house i don't know if anybody else is finding this but my lips have been super dry the whole time i've needed hydration constantly so i've definitely been getting some use out of this i'm really sad that i didn't log a weight last month because i'm pretty sure there would have been movement on this keeping it in might as well and the idea was to finish that one up anyway so it still works i'm keeping it I am taking this out so it's the Nautiques Formula 2 you can see I've actually made some sort of progress on it this month so let me just get you in focus so this is when I started this was the first check-in second check-in there was just nothing so I didn't bother and then this check-in we we're at this little pink line here I just don't use it and I've, I've found that trying to pressure myself into using this means that I'm deliberately not using anything else so there's been a few times this last month I've found myself thinking oh maybe I'll put on some nail polish instead and then I thought oh but I should be using my protein and then I don't use anything so i think if i take this out i'm gonna just feel more encouraged to use the polishes that i've already got um which are just sitting there not being used and i'm not using this either so i might as well just take this out take the pressure off and just use what i want to use when i want to use it so it was a nice try but ultimately it just isn't working so it's coming out and the last thing that we're going to talk about is my perfume so it's the Vera Wang princess perfume and you can see from the markings that I've come down a fair chunk this last month but that's because the bottle is narrowing out so it's easier to do obviously I'm not going to work not leaving the house forget to use perfume but especially this last week i've sort of gone oh i need to do my project pan update soon need to start using my perfume a little bit more so i have tried to use this this last week um and i'm going to continue trying to do that i'm keeping this in um even with us going into spring i, I still like this fragrance I, for me for me there are fragrances that are definite summer fragrances and definite autumn fragrances and winter and summer etc etc but generally speaking i don't wear my perfume like that um i like this perfume i enjoy wearing it and the only reason i put it in the project is because it's the oldest one i've currently got so i'm keeping it in i'm going to try and get some more use out of it there's no reason for me to take it out so that's that and that brings us to the end of my project pan update a couple of empties a couple of rotations and overall i'm quite happy with the products that i've put in so some of them are going to be a bit sort of trial and error so we'll see how we get on by next month but um but that's that so 
over to you guys then what do you think of the products that i've put in what do you think of the ones that i've taken out um if you've got any thoughts or feelings or opinions or ideas on any of the products that i've got in this project then i'd love to hear from you in the comments down below as i said last month somebody made a comment that was quite helpful so i'm definitely encouraging more of those kind of comments and uh, that's it from me then so as always if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already stay safe stay healthy stay home if you can and i will see you all again in another video very very soon thanks for watching bye